She's not related to me. So. She's not related to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a couple things. Um, oops. Ah. A couple things to remember. Ready? Okay. A couple things to remember, guys. When we're multiplying, these are called monomials, right? And when we're multiplying monomials, there's a couple rules we really want to make sure we follow. One rule that we said is, if I'm multiplying a monomial, or pretty much any kind of number to an exponent, as long as my numbers have the same base, here's these rule of exponents, right? As long as they have the same base, all I need to do is add the exponents. So what I'm going to do is when I'm multiplying numbers and they have exponents, I need to make sure that the ones that have the same bases, I can combine them by adding their exponents. So here I'm multiplying y squared times z. Do those have the same bases? No. So I can't simplify that any further. Then that's multiplied by y times z squared. I can't multiply that any further. However, I can rewrite this to write y squared times y y squared times y times z times z squared, okay? You can rewrite this so the y's are next to each other and the z's are next to each other. Now, what I can do, Brian, is apply my addition, my multiplication property of exponents. So when I'm multiplying these, the next thing is, well, there's no exponent for a y. Well, I beg to differ. If you guys understand that x squared equals x times x, right? And x cubed equals x times x times x, right? We keep on going, we're just going to keep on making our numbers whatever exponent is. So if I go to x to the first, that's just really x. So therefore, I can write a 1 up there and a z to the first. So now when I multiply these, I have y squared plus 1 times z to the first plus 2. Well, what is y2 plus 1 is going to give you y cubed z, 1 plus 2 is z cubed. And that's it. Just apply your rules, and you guys got it. Okay?